You belong on every ground your feet grace, so don't ever feel out of place. Take up space and belong. This earth is your birthplace. Hey loves, welcome back to the Sensual Genius YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to do a review of the movie The Outlaws from Netflix. This movie is starring Nina Dobray as Parker McDermott, Adam Devine as Owen Browning, Ellen Barkin as Lily McDermott, Pierce Brosnan as Billy McDermott, Lauren Lapkus as Phoebe King, and Porna Jagernathan as Rehan Zakar. Zakar. Zakar, I think. It starts off with Owen playing the piano and singing Here Comes the Bride as Parker walks out into the living room with her hands over her eyes. When she opens them, he reveals the seating chart to their wedding that he used action figures to create. As she scans it, she asks him if he can add two more to the table uh, with his parents because her parents just emailed her and said they were coming. She talks about being nervous that her parents are coming and he asks her, has she met his parents? Like, she like, I'm nervous about my family coming because my parents be doing too much. And he like, have you met my parents? Like, my parents are king and queen of doing too much. Uh, but he doesn't think that her parents could be worse than his. And he's excited. He'll finally get to meet them because they've been dating for a couple of years, I think. And he's never met her parents. On his way to work, Owen is talking to his parents on the phone. He tells them that that uh, Parker's parents are coming to the wedding. His dad thinks it's weird that they weren't coming in the first place. He tells them it doesn't matter because they're coming now. He tells them not to make the situation weird. They call him weird and tell him he's the one that became weird since he got with Parker. They don't seem to like her. They call her a stripper and Owens corrects them and tells them she's a yoga instructor. His mom said she didn't know that and Owen reminds her that he invited her to one of Parker's classes, yoga classes. His parents are like very judgmental. They're like those people that like have played their whole lives careful careful they've never done nothing risky they are law-abiding citizens they never broke a law they never broke a rule but they have this these like weird personalities where they they the way that they interpret things are weird the way that they behave around other people are weird it's like they're socially awkward the way that they just perceive reality is weird and he's embarrassed by them and it seems like they judge Parker really harshly. They don't, I feel like it's just, they don't think that she's good enough for their son. But Owen goes to work, talking to his coworkers about he'll be meeting Parker's parents for the first time. They're surprised he never met them since they're about to get married. They tell him they thought he was lying when he said he had a girlfriend because they'd never seen him with a woman before. The woman coworker, the, the, his uh, female co-worker tells him whatever spell he used to trick Parker into being with him won't work on her parents. And it was kind of like she was literally hexing him because it literally was true. Owen tells them parents will her parents will love him. The, the co-workers tell him they accidentally locked Gary, another co-worker, into the vault. Owen goes to get him out as... His co-workers bring up Phoebe King since she said anyone could break into the vault. Because he works at a bank. And they have a vault where it's him and this lady, Phoebe King, who is like rivals. They both work at banks. They're both managers for banks or whatever. And she's like better than him. She has like the better equipment, the better vault, the better system, the better whatever, everything. His system, he she like pick, makes fun of him because of his system. And for good reason, because what happened in this movie, she was right. <laughs> but they bring her up and it's like, because she told them that anybody can break into the vote at the bank uh, they work at. 
Owen says it's a lie because it's state of the art. Then he finally gets Gary out and reminds him there's an emergency release inside every vote. Gary tell, yells at him because he couldn't find it. He's like, nigga, you say this every time, but I can't find it. I don't know where it's at. And instead of, I was like, why he just won't show him where it's at? Why does the situation keep happening? Why does he keep getting locked into the vote? Why does he keep going into the vote? Because I, th I thought at banks, they just keep them locked until they have to put more money in them. Like, why is he always in them every day? Why is he getting locked in? It was just stupid to me. Uh, they go to dinner with Owen's family and it's chaotic. His parents are telling Parker that it's good. Her parents are coming to their wedding. They make digs at her, calling up, saying that she's a stripper again. Owen's cousin asks him about the bachelor party. Owen co coincidentally gets a call uh, while everything is going on. Like, they're, they're being really disrespectful to Parker. Like, just calling her a stripper, trying to demean her about her career, like her job and what she does and stuff like that. And she's just taking it on the chin, not really being phased by it, eating her food, minding her business and not caring. She was the epitome the epitome of no F's giving. Like, she just really did not care. But he gets the phone call from someone. Um, He walks away from the table to take the phone call. He tells the person he's putting together, he's like, I'm putting together a montage for my wedding, but I don't have pictures of my, my uh, fiance's parents. But she told me that they got a storage at your storage company. So I would like to come and check the storage to see if they got pictures. And the dude is like, oh yeah, but while he's on the phone with the man, his father's shirt catches a, um catches on fire and like you can see the commotion him running back and forth him making it worse and owen turns around and sees what's going on so he's alarmed by it so he had to get off the phone with the man and go help put the fire out because his mama was using the oil to spray on the dad and it was making it worse his like when i say his family they're like a bunch of idiots it's like meet the Fockers. It's like the Fockers, but I feel like the Fockers weren't stupid. They just were eclectic. They just were weird and like they were very confident in who they were as people. And I feel like his parents are the same way, but they're stupid. <laughs> if that makes sense. So the man he calls, calls this lady who is Rehan, Rian, uh, he calls her and tells her that someone called about the McDermott locker and gave her Owen's name. She says she'll handle it and she hangs up the phone because she's doing a deal with a guy who's trying to sell her diamonds. So after she tells the guy that they have a deal and, and they, they, they agree on a price, she shoots him. So this shows us that she's nobody to play with. And it kind of sh kind of shows us that Parker's parents are into something. Like it's like foreshadowing what's going to happen. Parker's parents are dangerous. They're into something dangerous and Owen is going to get dragged into it because he called cuz he's naive basically. He's Excuse me. He's super naive. He doesn't really know what's going on cuz he never met them. And even when he meets them, he's still naive. But Owen and Parker goes home. <sighs> Sorry. Owen and Parker goes home and recaps what happened at dinner. They talk about how weird his family is and he apologizes for them. She brings up her family and he asks if she's afraid they won't like him. She says no and asks him the same. He says no too. She says not liking him is like is like not liking Mr. Rogers. He asks her when her parents are coming in. She tells him the day before the wedding. He says he has just enough time to plan his surprise, which is the montage. In the next scene, Owen gets home from work and he's talking to Parker on the phone. They're talking dirty to each other, saying the weirdest things that I've ever heard somebody say dirty talking. 
they're saying what they're going to do to each other when she gets home. And when they get off the phone, he's putting up the groceries and singing a dirty song about what he's going to do to Parker while her parents are watching him, but he doesn't know. When he realizes it, he swings the baguette at them and Parker's mom body slams him. He asks who they are and they tell him they're Parker's parents. They introduce themselves to him. Parker gets home. They they break into their house, by the way. He didn't let them in. They just came in. They broke in. He was like, how did you, y'all get in? Oh, yeah, you left the door unlocked. And he didn't leave the door unlocked. They broke in. Parker gets home and is excited to see her parents. Owen asks how they get in. Oh, yeah. He asks how they get in. And Parker's mom... And Parker's mom says the door was unlocked. Owen says that's funny because he never leaves the door unlocked. And Parker's dad asks if he was calling his wife a liar. He gets aggressive with Owen and steps into his space. Owen gets scared until the dad starts laughing and telling him it was a joke. Parker's parents are really sketchy. Like, you can see that they're not the typical old older people, like older parents. You could tell that they got stuff going on. Like, the mom literally body slammed him when he hit her with the baguette. And an old lady ain't supposed to be able to do that. But she was able to. Always, I mean, Parker's parents tell her. No, they tell Parker's parents about how they met. And, like, Parker's parents doesn't seem impressed with Owen. They don't like him. They don't feel like he's good enough for her or whatever. The same as his parents don't feel that she's good enough for him. He said he went to Parker's yoga class for the next year and a half until Parker asked him out. And to them, that's like unmanly. Like they don't think that it's manly that she had to ask him out. Parker has to go to work so all... Yeah, they look disgusted with Owen. They're like, ew, like... She had the actual ill. Parker has to, the next day, Parker has to go to work. So Owen has to show her parents around. He tries to come up with something for them to do. First, he suggests f pottery, but they don't want to do that. Then he suggests going to a Holocaust museum since they spent time in, uh, I forgot what the name of the place was, but he was trying to do stuff that he felt they would like based on what Parker told him about them but he uh tells them about the holocaust museum and they don't want to do that but so he asked them what they want to do and in the next scene owen screaming because he's strapped to parker's dad and they are skydiving then they go get tattoos then after that they go drinking owen is clearly getting on their nerves he keeps stepping on her dad's shoes um, he keeps up on her dad's shoes and like it, it pisses him off or whatever. When Owen asks about the storage unit, the dad, oh, they, oh, also while they're in the bar, they see Rian, the lady that shot that man or whatever. Owen asks the dad about the storage, hold up. Yeah, they see her when Owen asks about the storage unit. The The mom gets up to go confront her, but the dad is like, don't worry, I got this. And he goes to confront her and tells the mom to stay with Owen. Parker's mom is asking Owen about his job as a bank manager, and he's drunk, so he's telling her everything, how to get into the system, how to get into the vault. He's telling her all every single thing that she wanted to know the lady tells oh yeah the the rian tells billy that owen called about the storage he tells her that owen is stupid and he doesn't know what's going on he tells her that owen is just a family friend like so he's nothing to worry about so don't worry about why he asked for the storage unit because he doesn't know what's going on so just ignore that when owen goes to work his co-workers ask him how did meeting parker parents go he tells them it was fun 
He has a hangover and is throwing up everywhere or whatever, but he said he had fun. Suddenly, some two people comes in the bank to rob it. Owen tries to press the button, but they catch him before he does. They pick him up and take him straight to the vault. He tells them the vault is state of the art, so they'll never get into it. But they somehow know all of the codes to get into the vault. They go in, in to get the money, but Owen recognizes the smell of Billy's cologne. He doesn't say anything, though. He acts, He doesn't say anything, though, but he steps on Billy's shoes. I thought it was by accident, but I kind of feel like it was on purpose. It's just to kind of test his theory. And Billy gets mad like he did in the bar and, like, almost, like, hits him. But he kind of backs down. Um, he hands, he takes something out of the, he takes money out of the bag and hands it to Owen. And it turns out it's the money with the dye on it. And it blows up in Owen's face. And Owen is sitting, and they just walk out and go about their day. Owen, Owen is sitting in the bank after the robbery, having flashbacks of them getting information from him about the, about his bank. Then Parker shows up with, with her parents like they come back with Parker while the cops are there. While he's being questioned, his in-laws are standing behind him with their hands on his shoulder to make sure he didn't tell them anything. The FBI agent asks him if he's ever heard of the ghost bandits and he says yes. He tells them he thinks it's them, but he wants to know how they got access to his vault. Owen starts crying and babbling, so Parker tells the agent that that's enough questioning for the day, and they leave. He rides in the backseat with his in-laws while Parker drives them home. He's afraid of them. They get Owen and Parker a car for their wedding, like, like I think to, like, throw it off to make it seem like they were doing something nice. Uh, so he could be confused about what's going on. In the next scene, Owen called Lil Rel because one of his co-workers is Lil Rel How How Howie, the you know, the comedian or whatever. And I didn't catch the lady's name, but she's also a comedian. But o Owen calls Lil Rel's cal character to tell him he think it was Parker's parents who robbed the bank. Lil Rel asked him if he should tell as, no, he asked him if he should tell Parker, and his co-worker tells him no, because it's a relationship suicide. If you tell them you think that her parents robbed the bank, but you don't have proof, she's going to be mad at you, and that could potentially ruin your relationship with her. Then he, say, he tells Owen that he... Oh, yeah, he tells Owen, you just told me that you gave them the code to the vault, so you basically helped them rob the bank. Like, you you, you cannot tell, tell, you cannot tell on them without implicating yourself because you literally helped them. You gave them everything they needed to rob it. Owen asks him if he's saying he's an accessory, and he tells him no. He's the mastermind. And he's like, it's gangster. Like, that's gangster. You you did, you robbed the bank. Like, you got you got balls. He tells him to act like it never happened. And then Parker walks in the room, so Owen hangs up the phone. In the next scene, Owen tells his parents to help him prove that Parker's parents are criminals. Because he tells his parents that he think Parker... He's telling too much people. But he tells his parents he think that they robbed the bank. He's like, I invited them here so y'all can help me uh, prove that they're criminals. They meet, and at first, his parents are awkward in front of his in-laws. They ask his in-laws if they're criminals, and Parker tells her... Parker tells his parents No. Owen brings up their stay in South Africa and says says a phrase to quiz them to see if they actually were there because he doesn't believe. Now, since they robbed the bank, he doesn't believe that they were uh, in South Africa doing, like, mission work or whatever. Parker, Parker's, Parker's parents gets Owen's parents to loosen up 
And Owen's mom admits to having orgies before she got pregnant with Owen. Owen asks if his dad is his dad, and she tells him, of course, and the dad is like, of course I'm your dad. The parents start to have fun, and Owen is annoyed that his plan didn't work out. So Parker's parents were able to charm his parents and get them to abandon the plan that they had set into place before they arrived. Parker notices something is wrong with Owen, so she asks him what's wrong. He tells her he thinks her parents robbed the bank, and he tells her why he thinks so. She tells him that her parents aren't bank robbers, and he's lost his mind. In the next scene, Owen follows Parker's parents to the lady to Rian's house. Turns out they betrayed her somehow and took a million dollars from her, but she wants six millions back, or she's going to kill Parker at her wedding. Over Owen overhears her saying this, so he leaves her house and tries to call Parker, but Parker doesn't pick up. While he's trying to call her, the police gets behind him uh, and turns the lights on, so he gets stopped by the police. It's the agent who questioned him about the robbery. He tells him to pop his trunk and finds the voice changer, the mask, and some burner phones that suggest that he is the person who robbed the bank. He asked him who he was working with, and he said he doesn't know. So he told him that he would lock him up until the weekend, until he remembers. Owen says his wedding is the weekend, so he can't get locked up. So the man asked him to tell him who robbed the bank. Owen finally tells that it's Parker parents, and the cop tells him to wear a wire and get them to confess to doing it, or he'll get locked up. Owen agrees so he can leave. In the next scene, Owen is wearing the wire when he goes to the bakery to get the cake for their wedding. Like, him, Parker, and his and her parents are going to the bakery to test out cakes, to taste cakes. Owen is announcing everything into the wire. He's literally holding his shirt like this and talking into it like this every time he says something. And he's like, he's like narrating everything that they're doing as they're doing it. So the cop can hear. While they're in the the bank, Rhea comes home comes in to snatch Parker, holds her hostage to threaten her parents. They tell her it's not the weekend yet. They're like, it's still early. Like you gave us to the weekend. It's not the weekend yet. Leave her alone. She says she forgot that they're liars, so she came for a little insurance. Parker realizing realizes that Owen wasn't lying. Her parents tell her to listen to Rian and that they were going to save her. While they're leaving with Parker, Owen is talking into the wire and telling the cop to save Parker and that she's being kidnapped. The cop gets his gun and they end up having a shootout with Rian's bodyguards. Parker's parents are beating the men that came with the lady while o while with Rian while Owen is running. Like he's like ducking behind stuff and hiding and stuff. The dad saves Owen from getting shot when he went to run after Parker. The lady still dr uh, Rian still drove off with Parker. The cops confront the McDermott's, but the dad slams him and they go after Parker. Up. Uh, Parker's parents and Owen tries to chase after uh, Rian for Parker, but they lose them because they can't keep up. They stop the car and confront each other about what happened. The dad gets in at Owen for being a rat. Owen gets on them for trying to frame him for the robbery. The dad's, the mom didn't know that the dad had tried to frame Owen, but he says he did it to keep Parker from making the biggest mistake of her life by marrying Owen. Owen tells them that they don't know what's best for Parker because they weren't there. They tell him they were gone because they were trying to protect her from Rian, who was their old partner. They said she started to get crazy, so they took the money and left. Now they need to find Parker before she kills her. Owen convinces him, them to let them help him rob uh, other banks to get the money to save Parker. They're reluctant, but they tell him, they tell him, but he tells them he'd do anything for Parker. 
In the next scene, the agent goes to Owen's parents to question them about what's going on, but it's a dead end. They don't know anything, but they're judgment they're judgmental of Parker's family. They're like just telling him that they're criminals, they're bad people, whatever. Stuff that is not gonna help him. Owen and Parker's parents plan to tr to uh plans to rob a truck that takes money from three banks. So they instead of robbing three banks, they decide that they're gonna rob the truck that gets that picks up the money from all three of the banks. Owen is getting beat up by a dude that looks like Maui from Moana, and he looks just like Maui. It's so hilarious. While Parker's parents are outside robbing the truck, the dude is has a heart attack midway through him fighting Owen after Owen goes into the bank and holds the people hostage. He took it upon himself to be the hero and fight Owen. And he actually beats him up. And then he starts having a heart attack. Then Owen saves his life. The security from the armored truck shoots at them. So Owen gets in the truck and drives off. The money is literally flying out. The heist is a buzz. They only got away with $60. Billy is mad at Owen. Lily tells Billy they aren't running. Uh, he was like, he was like, we're going to get Parker and we're going to go on the run. But his wife tells him they're not running because Parker made a life for herself. They plan to rob Phoebe King's bank, the rival bank to Owen. Owen tells his parents their plan and asks them to be getaway drivers. He tells them not to tell the agent and they do like he knows they would. They call him, they call the agent and tells, tell him what Owen told them. Owen goes to talk to Phoebe to ask for her help and to see her vote. She takes him. He tricks her and goes inside the vote to get the money. Parker's parents act as a decoy while Owen takes the money from the bank. His cousin picks him up in the ambulance to be the getaway driver. The cop and Owen's, and I think he called his parents and said that so the cousin could hear him. And he told the cousin them where he was going to be and everything. And the parents called the cops, but he told them the wrong place. But I feel like on the side, he texted the cousin and told him where he was really going to be. And the cousin showed up. The cop and Owen's parents chase the McDermott's thinking they got the money while Owen gets away. Owen meets Rian to trade the money for Parker while Billy and Lily distract the police. Rian plans to kill them, but Owen pulls a gun out. He shoots the guards, and the guard shoots Rian. So it was like she accidentally got shot, so they kind of like got rid of each other. Parker's parents meet up with them at this like, I, it was just building or whatever that they met up at. Parker confronts her parents. Billy tells her Owen confronts her parents about who they are and what they've been doing. Billy tells uh, Parker's parents, I mean, Billy, which is Parker's dad, tells Owen he did it for her. The cops, the, he, like, he, she, he's explaining to Parker that Owen robbed the banks for her and that he would do anything for her and that they respect him for it. Parker, uh, the cops come, but... Owen leaves to take the money back. When they open the... Okay, the cops come. Owen and his cousin leaves to take the money back to the bank. But Parker's parents stay to get arrested. That was the plan the whole time. When they open the vote at Phoebe King's bank, Owen is laying in there with the money, pretending to be scared or whatever of what happened. In the next scene, Owen and Parker get married. They celebrate with their family at the reception. Parker's parents show up at, at the wedding in handcuffs, and they're handcuffed to the cop to support them. They made a deal with the cop to come so, so he could bring them to the wedding. They dance with Owen and Parker until the movie ends. And then, like, it comes back, like, the after scenes, the, the credit, the after credit scenes. Owen slips Owen uh, Parker's parents a paper clip and a piece of cake so they can break out of their handcuffs. Then it goes off. So it kind of seems like it's going to be a part two. 
if it's a part two, I'll definitely going to watch it. But I give this movie a 9 out of 10. It was really good. It had a lot of action, and it was very funny. Um, I love Adam uh, Devine. I think he's a funny uh, character, actor, whatever. Like, I usually like him on most of the stuff that he's on because he's like this, that, like, weird, awkward, like, white guy. He plays that, like, awkward white guy who thinks highly of himself in movies. And I love... I love him as an actor. I think he's funny to me. But I will say this. It, it It's supposed to be a romance movie, but there wasn't really a lot of romance to me, which is why I gave it a 9 out of 10. I didn't really get to see a connection between Owen and Parker. Um, uh, it was just more focused on her parents hiding their true identity about who they were or whatever and they focused on like owen kind of going back and forth with her parents because they didn't feel like he was good enough for her and like him getting caught up in their drama but it didn't really show a connection between the two of them their relationship didn't really seem real like it didn't seem like they really loved each other like they really had feelings for each other or nothing like that it just seemed to me that they were together so you know that i didn't really get a whole lot of romance there even though they had the mom and dad as a couple and parker's mom and dad as a couple they didn't focus on the romance in any of those relationships they literally had three couples that they could focus on the romance between them and they didn't they just it just was mostly funny in action and it was cool like i liked it it still was a good movie but the reason why i'm not giving it a 10 because it wasn't a romance movie to me it was an action movie not that i have any issues with uh re watching and reviewing action movies because i am gonna mix it up a little bit i will do like some movies that aren't romance here and there but most of my content is going to be romance stuff because I'm technically a romance author, even though I don't only write romance. Because I, I write poetry, and I also just wrote my first drama and action story series or whatever. Because I, I, I just finished book two of Robin. But most of what I write is romance, and it has a romantic element to it. So I'll do reviews on romance movies, but... You know, I'll, here and there, I'll throw in different genres. But this movie was supposed to be romance. I went under, I went in Netflix under the romance genre to find movies to watch. And this was one of them. And while it was a good movie, it wasn't romantic to me. So that's why I'm not giving it a 10. But I still think it's a good watch. It's funny. I think it's an enjoyable, especially for like a family. I feel like it's a family movie. Like you can watch it with your kids or whatever. It's not bad. Like, it has action and stuff. And, yeah, her parents are bank robbers, but it's not, like, bad. It's not, like, gangster. It's, like, white people bad, I guess. <laughs> you can say. I hate to say that, but that's pretty much what it is. But, uh, but yeah, I give it a 9 out of 10. I think it's worth watching. If you've seen it, let me know what you think about it. Uh, do you like Adam Devine as an act, actor, or do you think that I'm just tripping? <laughs> um also nina dobre has been making her money like she's been in these movies a lot i haven't really seen her since the vampire diaries but i love seeing her on screen so when i see a movie with her in it i'm gonna watch it because i like her i liked her as elena even though she got on my nerves a lot i still liked her in, in the vampire diaries but it's good to see her back uh in these main roles and stuff um but thank you for watching this review don't forget to like comment and subscribe let me know what you think about this review let me know if you like the way that i review stuff or if you have any like suggestions and notes that it's constructive criticism so i don't have to listen to you <laughs> if i don't want to if i don't feel like your criticism is conducive to my growth i don't have to listen but you can, I'm definitely open to it, but, um, yeah, thank y'all for watching this video. I will see y'all in the next one. Bye. Before you go, check out my website at srgram.org and subscribe to my mailing list to get exclusive updates on works in progress, other news, and blog posts. Thank you.